Hello YouTube, this is My Third Eye. Today I'm in historic downtown Kissimmee. I'll be doing a tour of this place. Right across the road from me, this used to be a SunTrust bank, but now it's a, it's a little Florida healthcare clinic. Here are the Sand Hill Cranes. There's one there. So on the corner of Oak Street and Main Street, this used to be a little gas station carryout. But I don't remember the gas ever working there. It's mainly just a, like a, a food carryout, a convenience store. But that's since closed. Looks like it's been closed a little while. And here we have the former spot of Main Street Pizza. This is on Main Street. It's since moved downtown. Yeah, this is where it was. And then right next door to it was a Haitian takeout. Haitian and Creole. That's now a Jill's natural hair studio. And this is Wally's Wings. This is on the corner of Park and Main. Here on the corner of Church Street in Main, this is the famous Abracadabra ice cream place. It looks like they've changed this up quite a bit over the years. This used to be like a, a dark midnight bluish purple. Kind of reminds me of like Disney colors. They also have like a little play area for the kids back here. They usually do like, you know, the inflatable bouncy castles. Yeah, look, says it right there. Jump for fun, inflatables. You can kind of see the old colors like this color here, but that's been faded by the sun. I think these are the originals though. Here we have the Kissimmee Main Street Welcome Station. An old retro pump. Look at that thing. historic downtown Kissimmee. You see art pieces that are in a similar fashion to this. Here we have the only convenience store in historic downtown Kissimmee called J&B Mini Mart. This has come under new management since I lived here last time. They can be a bit funny about their prices because they're the only one in downtown. Just a little word of warning. And across the street from that J&B Mini Mart. We have the Lynx Kissimmee Station. And there's also the Sunrail Station, which is fairly new. That will bring you to downtown Orlando. Also brings you the other way to Point Siena. And I believe it goes all the way to D-Land. All through the city you'll see a lot of western and rodeo influence. This city is famous for the rodeo, for the Kissimmee Rodeo. Here we have Broadway Pizza Bar. That's not really changed since the last time I've been here. It's still in operation. Check out the street signs there. Got wagon wheels on the side. So this place used to be Big John's Barbecue. It's now a Mexican kitchen. And Big John's Barbecue has, has moved down that way towards the lake. 
Check out this mural. This is really cool. Cow Town. The detail is amazing. There's the artist there. Here on the corner of Dakin and Broadway, which is Main Street. This is all new. This looks brand new. I don't remember this being here. 1881 restaurant and bar. Now I do remember this mural that was behind it. And it's still there, but now they've put in stairs. Can't really see it. It still is there. Remember this fella and the Florida Cracker Cows. Three sisters speak easy. And right next door to it, we have a sushi bar. We got outdoor seating as well. And here we have a blackbird. Florida Blackbird. Here's Willie's Wieners. This is still here. It's right here in the corner. This used to be a little hole in the wall bar. Now it's a cafe. Look at this. So this will show you where we are right now. Right there. Corner of Monument Avenue and Broadway. Sugar Mama, Sugar Baby. This old thing. Here we have the Kissimmee Diner. This used to be called Joanne's Diner. Right next to the Kissimmee Diner, formerly known as Joanne's. This used to be Diane's Tea Room. This is since closed. This looks like some sort of Puerto Rican shop. Look at this thing. That's what I'm saying. You see stuff like this all over the city here. And this is an antique shop. And it looks like it might be closing down because it says retirement sale. I know the same fellow's owned it for ages. Must be retiring now. You know, when you just stood here looking down Broadway, you can really get that sense of the Western influence. Gotta love the old brick roads.
right behind Broadway. This whole street is just lined with murals. This is at the back of Diane's. Showing what it was like back then. The city still holds its charm. So here's the back of Diane's tea room. Still got the sign there. It's no longer in business. Around like December and January, these towers, a lot of osprey come and they'll make a nest up there and you'll hear them whistling. I think that's the remnants of an osprey nest way up at the top. It's during their mating season. You hear that it's got a very distinct whistle. And they're excellent fishers as well. So down there, down this way, Kissimmee Lake fronts down this way and the ospreys will come and get the fish out of the lake. You'll see them flying around with a fish in their arms or in their claws. Check this out. It's not really open right now because it's still kind of early, but this is unique. here towards the end of the downtown district you have the Kissimmee Police Department and down that way is the old courthouse and government buildings this is only a few years old and it's already starting to fade a lot from the Sun that Florida Sun is just unforgiving look at this like robotic cowboys here we have the famous Main Street Pizza. This is the new location. This place is amazing. It's really good. They have excellent wings. The pizza is amazing. The staff are really friendly. It's a nice place to just sit in and get something to eat. Got lunch specials. Now the jumbo slices that they're talking about, they're absolutely massive. Right, you'll, two of them will fill you up for sure. But I mean, one of them will get you. Will get you there, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure this used to be a bar. I'm not 100% because I didn't really go into it. Okay, and that was the downtown. Now we'll walk over here to Kissimmee Lakefront, and we'll see what this is like. This was a lovely park when I was here really nice to come down here in the mornings when the sun's just coming up. So here at Kissimmee Lakefront, this is a Plaza Cafe. You can get food and drinks in there. I got a little window. You order there and then bring it to the window. And now It's not open yet. It's still pretty early. Some drinking fountains. A lot of people will have events and stuff here. I've seen a few weddings that took place there. 
There's a lot of wildlife in this park. Got a blackbird up there making some ruckus. And this lake is full of gators. You'll probably see some up towards the sides. So way out there, there's a couple islands. There's one called Mackison Island, another called Paradise Island, and then another one called Grass Island. So when it rains, all the storm drains, they lead to this lake. Helps prevent flooding. Yeah, those islands out there. I know that, I believe it's Paradise Island. It was owned by Disney. And I know that legend has it. There's some bighorn sheep that are out there. They just never brought them out of that island. It used to be an attraction back in the day. And I guess they couldn't catch the sheep or something, but they, they just left them there. Well, they multiplied, and now they're living there on the island. It's called Lake Toho, right here. You can see where the islands are, Mackison, Paradise, and then that little tiny one that's called Grass Island. Just some of the wildlife that you see out here. Like I said, it's full of gators and snakes. You can't see them often because they blend in. You got a rabbit up here. That thing better be careful. Those gators that just love to have it for a meal. Let me walk right up to you, aren't you? I'm not gonna hurt you. Be careful over there. Here's the lighthouse down on the end. This little peninsula. the lighthouse. A turkey, duck, drying its wings off. These things make really weird movements with their necks. It's all right, relax. You can bring boats out on this as well. So they got more pavilions over here. They got like a kids play area. People can have barbecues. There's loads of pavilions that you could chill at. So if one's got people at it, you can move to the other one. And then over this way is the marina where people take boats out. And there's a dock. There's so much wildlife here. There's another part where you can walk way out. Goes all the way back there. 
And this is the marina. And you can take a boat out or you can dock a boat. They've got a dock over there. So you can back your truck up and drop your boat off. They've also got a bait and tackle shop. That's right down that way. So if you feel like doing some fishing, you can go and get your bait there. I was just looking to see if I could see any alligators, but I couldn't find any. There's a lot of these little birds in there. See, this area here used to be a lot lower at water level. I guess it's because it's the rainy season, it's, it's higher. But it's usually like a sandbar here. That's where you'll see the gators waiting on. Here's a map of the park. We're right there, all the way at the end. There's an osprey shelter down there. There's the fishing pier, the marina, the lighthouse. Now you see when it rains, it rains here in Florida, it's like a downpour and the streets flood real quick. So that will go into these gullies here and that will lead into these little Swamp areas that go into there's a new location of Big John's Rock and Barbecue Right here by the lakefront Okay, and I'm gonna end the video here at the famous Monument of States here in Kissimmee right next to the lakefront Covered all the downtown made our way over to the lakefront so If you like this video, please drop a like and if you want to see future videos, feel free to subscribe. It's my third eye. Thanks for watching. And take it easy.